Hello everybody, my name is Chris Friggin, and I'm back, and today we're racing a BMW uh, Zeta 300, I think, I think it's otherwise known as the bubble car, or did I say trying? Yes, I'm trying to race, because it's not that easy. Um, Let's see how good I did. I did it in a replay just because I needed to focus on driving and not just talking too. But that didn't really help very much. You, you, you basically just can't drive this thing. It's my number 56 cash wagon design. BMW doing a wheelie. Now I've already flipped it right around the first corner. Can't, can't, can't drive it. I mean, well, if I did this for seven laps before this, and I almost, I kind of got the hang of it after a while, but then I just lost. Because I did it for seven laps. And then, what I did was I, I was going to use that replay, but I exited and I didn't save it or anything, so, yeah. So, yeah, 56 cash, we're going to be a W. What I did to it is I put stiff suspension in the front and soft suspension in the back because I didn't want it to like wheelie. That didn't really help very much, but I'm sure if I would have, see, because that's how an endo car's more built. When you want a wheelie car, you can make the front soft and the back stiff. So I just did the opposite because I didn't want it to do wheelies. Didn't really help, but I mean, I'm sure it did. I've raced it without that too. Yeah, it's, it's an S-Class. It's very hard to drive. As you can see, I've already got lapped. I mean, sometimes you can drive around the track like that, smacking it in a wall every turn. And you know, I can keep up with, like, them Lamborghinis, but I just can't control it. You know, I'm going in pits. I don't know why it's going back and forth. Not gonna happen to you, but I mean, that thing is fast. As soon as I get out of pits, it's just I can't drive it. I mean, it looks better than it did. I but like I'm not flowing it. I'm just letting it coast around the track. And there's when I floor it when I went to the end. I can't, I can't drive it. Nobody can. I mean, I love this car, but you just can't drive it. I mean, that's, that's just how it is. You can't drive it. Still spinning out. No. Only on the second lap. I only made it three laps. As I said, I already did a seven lap race of this. I was planning to record that, but I didn't. So, yeah, I ended up doing a. Indeed, look, I'm going as fast as these Ferraris, but. Look, I mean, I'm staying with them, but I can't drive it. I almost flew into the pits there. Stopped myself, though. You can't really see me right here. Camera stopped. There it goes. a little slow there. A couple times when I do the seven lap, maybe even this one, I got really good on like the, the straightaways. But there I did. Just start flipping forward. I 
I wasn't giving up on the tip though. I couldn't drive it though. I just had too much power. I tried to upgrade the stock motor all the way, but uh, it only got to about 50 horsepower maybe. I can't remember. Maybe 70. I can't really remember, but I did. That stock one. Like all the way up there. It didn't get very much worse. Didn't even get out of E class. Everything you could upgrade with the stock motor. Even with the turbocharger. And didn't get out of E class. That shows you how slow this thing is. I mean, it's not slow now how I made it, but stock. Oh yeah, a VW bus could literally just smoke this thing. Which is, that there's the MV right Well yeah, that, that was trying to drive a, trying to race a BMW, uh, Isetta, Isetta 300, I think that's what it's called. I'll see you buddy in the next video. Bye.